Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to de define a simple truss and to discuss design assumptions that we make when we're evaluating axial loads in trusses. So we'll start off by looking at what a simple truss is. So we've got fairly simple definition. Uh, it's a truss which begins with a triangular element, which can be expanded upon by adding two members and one joint. So we also have a formula which relates the number of uh, members to joints. So we have the number of members is equal to two times the member of joints minus three. And if this is true, then we have a simple truss. And if this is not true, then we don't have a simple truss. So we'll start off with the simplest truss that we can have. It's just this triangle shape. And you know how we said um, a truss begins with one triangle element. We just have one tri triangle element here. So if we sub in our values into this formula, we end up with, so we have one, two, three members. So we have three is equal to how many joints do we have? So joints are just the meeting of two or more members. So there's one, two, three joints. So one, two, three joints. So we have three times two minus three. So three is equal to three. So we have a simple truss. So the next one we've got is a little bit more complicated, but so we've started off with a triangle element. So this is our triangle element and we've added two here out of the joint. So we've added um, two members and then we've 